You guys are in for something special today. Just wait until you see the media room in this place. And it's not even the most expensive house that we're gonna be taking a look at today. You know what they say, save the best for last. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. In today's video, we're gonna be revealing two model homes located here in Stillwater Ranch, built by Coventry Homes. I've never made a video like this before, so you're gonna wanna make sure to stick around till the end where I'm gonna reveal not only my favorite model, but the actual price points of what you can get for something like this. This house back here sits on a 45 foot lot and is full of surprises. In Stillwater Ranch, located here in San Antonio, Texas, there are a ton of different builders, but today we're gonna be covering Coventry Homes. If you guys want me to take a look at some of the other builders here in Stillwater Ranch, make sure to leave me a comment down below. So immediately walking up, you've got kind of this privacy nook right here, which I really like. Um, the door is gonna be a good quality wood door. Open the door. And as soon as we walk in, we can see an awesome view into the common area and the kitchen. I know you guys really wanna take a look at that, but let's go ahead and cover the office first. I love the natural lighting in here, especially these three windows above. Nobody likes to work in a dark office, so that was a really nice touch. And you can look out into your front yard and kind of see what's going on while you're getting some work done. As we head closer to the common area, we have, ooh, some nice storage in here, kind of an under the shelf storage area where you can put tents, I guess, and stuff like that. Also over here to the left, we're gonna walk in. It looks like we have a really nice laundry room. Again, the natural lighting in these new builds is like really good and I love a good natural light. Right next to the laundry room, we have a little half bath. And then as we continue on, we are greeted by the kitchen, the common area, and where you're gonna wanna eat the food that you just cooked in the kitchen. Taking a closer look at this awesome kitchen, I love the backsplash that they have behind the oven. There's also tons of storage. Like who doesn't love cabinetry just like absolutely lining the walls, especially if you have a bunch of dishes like I do. Oh my gosh. And I also love glass cabinetry. Like if you put glassware or they've done a really good job staging it, but do these different like pictures and stuff like that. Um, I love being able to see through the glass and they actually have two. Quick little look into the pantry. Not necessarily a walk-in pantry, but definitely a lot of storage. And with the extra cabinets, I think it would be okay. You would definitely have some extra room if you needed to store food, like right next to the pantry right here. And one of my favorite things about this model is gonna be the sink right here. I mean, honestly, this is my have been what sold it for me. We've got this awesome stainless steel sink and it's got this ledge that comes out further so the water doesn't splash all over you while you're doing your dishes. Moving over into the dining room, we do have awesome natural lighting, like I was saying before. And I don't know if you can see these ceilings, but they are a pretty decent height as well. The common area is located right over here. Again, with the glass cabinets, Glass cabinets, especially in the living room, are a game changer for me. If you have like an Xbox or a Roku or anything like that, I always end up having to hook it up on top right here of the counter where it's big and bulky and everybody can see it. But with glass cabinets, you can actually shoot the remote through glass. So nothing's blocking it. I think that's absolutely genius in a home and it makes it more clean, nice, and you know, you can organize everything a little bit better. And I wanna show you guys this awesome view that I can see from the living room. Oh yeah. 
I love whenever there is overhanging railing into the common room. I just think it's awesome. You can see what's going on upstairs. And again, we have some more windows over here at the back of the common area. Before we go take a look at the backyard, I'm gonna take you guys into the primary. So immediately walking in, I keep talking about the natural lighting, but like, look at this. If you're like me, I like a good blackout curtain, <laughs> which um, I don't think these actually go out all the way, but I would definitely install like a blackout curtain or they even have those remote window curtains now. If you know what I'm talking about, I would definitely get some of those, but like there's nothing like having this kind of natural lighting in a bedroom. I've also got this window nook right here. If you just want to take a seat, look out into the distance. You could even put like a cushion here if you wanted to. I've seen people do pillows or something like that, but kind of, you know, make it your own. Awesome backsplash for the bed. It's like a black wood. I don't know if you can tell, but moving into the primary bath. So these mirrors are awesome. I love the lights that they've put in as well, but you've definitely got a lot of counter space, which I can truly appreciate. If this isn't enough counter space for you, guess what? There's more right here. And they knew what they were doing for us girls because look, you can use this as like a makeup studio or something, and you've got your natural light. That's what I'm talking about. Do your makeup, look outside. You're gonna have perfect natural lighting. And then for the guys or whoever else you live with, they've got their side as well. These drawers are super nice, pretty, pretty average sized drawers. And then we've got some cabinets. A nice walk-in shower with awesome tile, kind of a little marble action going on as well. I think this qualifies as a walk-in shower. You get tired, you can take a seat. Everybody loves a shower seat, let's be real. Then you have your toilet, and it's got a door for privacy, we love that. And then this is my favorite part about the primary, honestly, I think it just might be my shoe addiction, but look at this closet. So much room to hang things, shoes you could even put above, you could install some sort of like shoe organization system. But I mean, that is like a ton of storage. Suitcases, whatever you need to put up here, you have got room for it, let me tell you. And before we go take a look at the backyard, let's go ahead and head upstairs. Again, you've got some fantastic natural lighting with these three windows here. You can make this another common area if you wanted to, something a little bit smaller. That's kind of what they've done. They've set up a little desk, you know, maybe for kids it looks like to get some homework done, another seating area. And they even have this little nook that you can put your TV, more glass cabinets. You guys know how I feel about glass cabinets. Immediately to the left of this common area, we have bedrooms and a bathroom. I'll show you guys that next. So leaving this common area, we can actually walk into the bathroom and then it leads us right back out here there's the common area and there's the staircase. So accessible both here and over here. Walking back through. 
We have another bedroom. And bedroom two. Two closets in these bedrooms, which I absolutely love. There's never too much room for storage. Okay, and what we've all been waiting for, let's check out the media room of this model home. We've been talking about natural lighting so far, but there is not a single window in here, which means it's gonna be awesome in terms of movie watching. This wall back here is decently sized. It looks about eight feet. You could even put a huge projector scheme, projector scheme, projector screen here. I've been having trouble saying that word and hook your projector up here. If you wanted to do that instead of a TV, definitely enough room for a couch. They've got a little popcorn machine. Hey. And the dark paint really just makes it top tier. That's absolutely my favorite part about this house. All right, and finally, let's head outside to take a look at this awesome backyard. So you got this huge backyard. I absolutely love a good covered patio seating, which you definitely have here. You even have a fan upstairs, upstairs on the ceiling for whenever it gets like super hot, kind of like it is right now. And I mean, this backyard is huge y'all for your dogs, your kids. I mean, it goes all the way back here where you've got your lovely garbage bins. You could totally put a pool in here. I mean, you could literally put a trampoline over there. It's a ginormous backyard. So if that's something that you guys are looking for, then this is definitely gonna be a good one. And then over here to the left of the house, we have that same kind of space. I mean, just a ton, a ton, a ton of space. How do you guys feel about like gravel yards? I feel like that's become a trend recently. You know, take out some of the grass, add some gravel. I kind of like it. I think it looks aesthetically pleasing, but tons of room back here. A lot of options in terms of what you can do to really make it yours. Okay, hey there guys. Um, from my house, I wanted to go ahead and give y'all a lay of the land in terms of where Stillwater Ranch is located. It is in San Antonio, Texas, of course. Let's zoom out a little bit. So here is San Antonio. This is going to be Loop 1604. And then Stillwater Ranch is located just off of Culebra Road um, at that exit. And you can see that it is on the far west side. So I almost wanted to consider it northwest, but it's far west. So as we zoom in, this is a master planned community. So as you can see, it's I mean, it's pretty much this entire little square here. Um, but Stillwater Ranch is technically in the middle. Um, as I'm talking about in the video, I believe I already said this in my video, but there are multiple builders that cover Stillwater Ranch. So today I'm covering Coventry Homes, which you can see um, this is where I was at their model homes, but of course they're located all throughout the community. Um, in terms of location and proximity to other things, um, we have our Whataburger, classic Texas, you know, I, I couldn't live without a Whataburger. Um, you have your Walmart, so that's gonna be your closest grocery store. There's also a CVS, like right here. I don't know why it's not pulling up on the map. SeaWorld is right here. I wanna say that's literally like a 10 minute distance. Do right here, tons of room for entertainment. Um, Six Flags is not that far either. You can also get to Lock and Terra and the Rim, I would wanna say within like 20 minutes. Um, and then if Walmart is just not your vibe, we do have our HEB down here, closer to Alamo Ranch. And in terms of schools, so we do have John and Harlan High School, but there are things that are closer as well. Okay, so Evelyn Scarborough Elementary School, um, I drove past that looking for the amenity center. I mean, if you're living in the planned community, kids could walk to school. It's a bike ride. It's a short drive. That's absolutely easy. 
Um, and then there is another high school. It's right here. That's the high school. So also very, very close. Kids of all ages, you're gonna be able to have very close proximities to schools. And then up here as well, I wanted to make sure to point this out. The Government Canyon State and Natural Area. Y'all, look at all of these trails. I mean, there are tons of trails up here. I mean, it, it's just absolutely beautiful back here. Um, I drove past one of the entrances and it was just off of one of the main roads here. Parks and wildlife development, a ton of nature in this area as well, which I can absolutely appreciate. And then Stillwater Ranch itself has two amenity centers. There's a 6,000 square foot resort style pool. It's a lap pool as well. Um, that's located within the community and it comes with living in the community. There's the neighborhood pool, which I'll show you guys here fully equipped fitness center um, and then basketball courts as well. So you don't have to deal with like the hustle and bustle of a huge gym. Um, you know, you don't have to go to your crunch or your LA fitness. You can just literally go outside your house, which is ideal for me personally. There are two children's playgrounds. Like I said, there are tons of hiking and biking trails. So the community sells itself. If these houses, these beautiful houses from country, Coventry Homes don't sell it for you. But Stillwater Ranch is an awesome community and something that I would absolutely consider moving to. All right, now that we know where we're located here in San Antonio, Texas, let's take a look at the hideaway model. It sits on a 60 foot lot and this is a beast of a house. This model is gonna be a four bed, four bath house, but let's go ahead and head inside. Common room, but immediately heading to the right. We're gonna be greeted by two entryways. This first one looks like a little half bath. We've got a shower going on. Then over moving in here, we have the first bedroom. And if you guys remember, bathroom is right across the way. We've got some cool closets, definitely some room. And then over here to the left, we're gonna walk into our second bedroom. If you guys remember me saying earlier, this is gonna be a four bed, four bath house. So the first two are gonna be located just here in the front, same exact setup. This bathroom's kind of hard to film in, it's a little bit smaller, but this is actually a walk-in shower that is connected to the bedroom. And then we've got this like super high ceiling. Oh my gosh closet like you could store um, a Christmas tree or something in there in a bedroom doesn't make any sense I definitely know which room I would choose if it was between me and my brother so then we've got another little storage closet just right across the way from the second bedroom all right you guys are not gonna believe this kitchen so I'm definitely gonna save that one for last but let's move over into this first dining area that we have I'm just such a huge fan of the natural lighting that they have throughout the house. The ceilings are super tall right here in the dining room. It levels down a little bit, but I mean, if you guys can see, huge ceilings. I love the details that they have as well. Back behind me is this kitchen that I'm gonna show you guys in here in a second. But moving forward, we do have our first common area that I'm super excited to show you guys. Tons of wall space. I mean, any decor that you could possibly think of. They've got these two pictures, but you could totally fill this up. If you're a maximalist like myself, We've got a nice view of the backyard with these awesome sliding doors. Who doesn't love to sit on your patio, be able to look inside to your beautiful home? And we're gonna go explore that backyard here in just a second. They've got the TV, that's my girl. They've got the TV on this wall. Again, tons of potential with what you could do here. Just another quick view. 
The primary bedroom is that way, but I'm gonna take you guys this way first. This is gonna be our second common area that we have back here. I just love the wood accent walls that they have throughout the house. I'm sure that's absolutely customizable. You've got natural lighting looking into the backyard. Another wall with tons of potential. You could turn this into like a game room if you have kids, like a little playroom or something like that. I mean, tons of potential for this back little room. Right next door, we have another bath. All the way up to the ceiling. We love that. Giant ceilings in here too. Pretty decent sized bath that is going to accommodate this third bedroom here. Awesome natural lighting in here. It just feels very like clean in here. Very crisp. I mean, you can just look out, see what's going on. Another gorgeous wood accent wall. Let's check out this closet. I'm curious. Oh yeah. Awesome size closet. I would consider this a walk-in. I just walked in. Definitely good storage space, high ceilings. This would be like a great guest bedroom. In my opinion, of course. Okay, and then we're gonna walk across the way. I'm gonna show you guys that primary bedroom. This is like my favorite bedroom that I have seen today for sure. So walking in, we've got this little nook, stylistic choice. However, I would totally put like some little sculptures here or something. Very sweet. And this is gonna be the primary, you guys. So light, it's so bright in here. The natural lighting just really blows my mind away. Another really cool wood accent wall here. I think the other room was actually kind of the same thing, just like a different color. You can see into your backyard, you can see your neighbors. And this is absolutely a beautiful room. Let's check out the bathroom. All right, so I told you guys I'm gonna reveal the best for last. I think that this is the best. I actually changed my mind. Surprise. This bathroom is legit. We've got a garden soaker tub here with this awesome tiling surrounding. They put in gold hardware, which I think complements really well. And to either side of that, we have vanities with really nice mirrors, counter space, if you're afraid that this isn't enough counter space for you, just wait, I'll show you what's more, but pretty good drawers. Awesome walk-in shower. I love this tiling that they've implemented. All the way up to the ceiling, absolutely gorgeous. They've got a seat. I get tired in the shower. I don't know about you guys. And then, this is what I wanted to show you guys. For the ladies, for whoever, the gentleman, whoever needs a lot of counter space, they have set up this awesome, my Nani always used to call it a boudoir. I'll put a translation. But look at that counter space. You've got this awesome mirror. You've got the chandelier in the back. Huge drawers. That one's pretty average, but this one, I mean, that is a deep drawer your makeup, your hair products, whatever in here. We've got our toilette, continuing with these high ceilings, these awesome ceilings. And I'll show you guys why. This is my favorite model. There are two closets. Personal experience, it is so hard to combine stuff, especially if you're living with like your boyfriend or your friend or whoever it is that you're living with. Combining closets is always such a hassle. This model has got two. I thought this closet was my favorite, but wait until I show you guys the other one. Got that natural lighting so it doesn't feel like a dungeon in here. 
huge, like super tall rods to hang things on. And then you also have this shelving storage right here. Shoes, whatever you need. And then here's my favorite closet. Y'all, I mean like, look how, this is huge. This is huge. Walking in, you've got your shelving. You've got all of your railing. This one doesn't have a window in it, but I think the size honestly makes up. This is, this is legit. Let's take a look at that kitchen that I've been talking to you guys about. This kitchen is ginormous, you guys. I don't know about y'all, but I cook a lot and this is a chef's dream. Just standing right here, I'm gonna show you guys my view. The island is huge. You can see into the entire common area. Honestly, you can see a great part of the house. I'll stop talking, I'll just show you guys. I mean, just look at this island. The countertops are beautiful. You've still got that pretty deep sink. And like I showed you guys in that first model, we've got a sink that comes out a little bit further so that dishwater won't spray all over you. Right behind you, we've got the stove. Gas stoves are my absolute favorite and I love that this is what they offer. We've got some really nice cabinet storage under here, cabinet storage here. And we've even got shelving in there. I love shelving and cabinets. More cabinet storage up here. This is where I would put like my oils and stuff. Maybe some pots that you don't use too often. Right next door to the stove, we've got our microwave oven set up. I love when these are one over the other. It just makes it so easy. Nice little oven there. Cabinetry above. Maybe put like a blender in there. I don't know. And then here, I love whenever there's a drawer like this under your oven, you can put all your cookie sheets. It just makes it super easy, very accessible. You guys, the storage in here is ridiculous. Like all these cabinets behind me and then look at what's under the island. Got your dishwasher. Nice little drawer, some stuff in there. And then continuing the storage on the island, we've got these little nooks on the side. Of course you can put decor like they did, but I always remember like doing my homework as a kid at the island, you know, of the house, putting some little like storage utensils, kids stuff in there. I don't know, make it yours. But we have the stove side, the island side, directly in front of me is going to be like this little breakfast corner, coffee maker, whatever you might need. Again, super tall ceilings. These cabinets are awesome. I love that they have shelving in them. That's like one of my favorite things. Nice fridge. You won't be thirsty if you come toward these homes. And these super wide drawers, which I love as well. Moving to the right of this little breakfast nook, just to give you guys an idea of where we are. We have our walk-in pantry. Tons of space in here. Again, super tall ceilings. Directly across from the pantry, we have our laundry room. Maybe even put in like a little mud room right here too, which I can really appreciate. Whenever you come in, just like take your shoes off, take your jackets off, put all your little kids' backpacks here. Awesome storage for a laundry room as well. You could even put in some shelving here and the tile. I really like the tile in here as well. As we walk out of this little section, we're gonna go check out the backyard. 
Who doesn't love a sliding glass door? And you're immediately greeted by this beautiful patio. Let me show you guys. This little door goes straight into that second common area that I showed you guys. You got this awesome view when you look up, this brick wall that is beautiful, kind of the exterior of the house. You can even put a little TV or something like that out here. I could definitely see this being an entertainer's paradise. And then we have our backyard, definitely enough room to have some dogs, have some kids, you know, turn a sprinkler on, have some summer activities. Let's walk over to the side of the house and see what's going on. Pretty long way down the side of the house. Let your dogs run down there. You could even put a garden back there. Actually, that's exactly what I would do. I would start like a little garden. I love that. And then over here on the other side, let's see what's over here. Same thing. And we've got our HVAC unit back there. Nice and green, good fences. You can see your neighbors. I'm just obsessed. Like, can you imagine like sipping a cup of coffee out here? I would fall in love for sure. So I know I've kind of said that both of these models are my favorite, so you're probably a little confused. I really think as soon as I came in and saw the primary bed and the primary bath in this unit, the Highland unit, it really changed it all for me. But what I'm not gonna change for you guys is talking about pricing. So let's go ahead and head over, just look at that pricing sheet, see what Coventry Homes has to offer here in Stillwater Ranch, San Antonio. Okay, so I'm back at my house. Um, I know you guys have been waiting for this part the entire video, so I won't hold it back any longer, but we're finally gonna be diving into some of the prices of what you can get with Coventry Homes in Stillwater Ranch. Um, I'll be going over what the exact cost is of each of the models that we took a look at today, and then they also have other options, so let's get right into it. Okay, so diving in first, we have this little form, and these are the exact two model homes that we went into took a look at earlier today. Um, so this one is gonna be the first one we looked at. It's the Woodlake model, and that one is going for $589,900. Keep in mind, this is the exact price of how it was exactly set up in the model home. So a lot of, there's a lot of things included in both of these. Um, the Highland is gonna go for $649,800. The salesperson that was there wanted to mention that the Highland, this has a lot of things added on to it. So they are starting at lower prices, but just for um, reference, exactly what we looked at today that's what each of those are going for um, and the feature model homes do have a lease back option which is essentially where the seller sells the home to you and then they lease it back so if that's something you're interested in then that is something that we can absolutely take a look at so this is another look at some of the plans that they have. As you can see, um, we have the Candalia starting at 355,990. That's gonna be one story, three bed, two bath, two car garage. It is gonna be at a lower square footage, of course, but you know, um, if this is, you know, if 300,000 or more in your price range, then this is something that would be able to work. We even have higher square footage up here with the Lasara for 391,990. Um, and this is gonna be the 45 foot lot which is gonna look like the first house that we saw. These are gonna be the 60 foot lots, um, so different than the 45 foot. Starting with the smallest square footage, it's gonna start in the 500,000s. Um, and this is gonna be all, well, one story at the top and two story at the bottom. You can go as high as five bedrooms and four bathrooms. So if you are needing a larger home, the square footage on this is awesome as well, especially for that price. I mean, I've had, clients reach out looking for 2,000 square feet with five bed, four bath, and they were priced around 500,000. So for, that's a pretty good price, I feel like. Some other information that isn't listed on there that I got from him, there are 24 60 foot lots left in total um, with Coventry Hills. So if you guys are thinking about it, you should definitely hop on it. And I also wanted to mention all of those prices I just showed y'all on the sheets are starting prices. So of course, any add-ons or anything like that are gonna be 
um, increasing the price, but honestly, I feel like these new builds are really well priced, especially for the community that it's located in. It's in a great spot of town. Um, I'm loving everything about Stillwater Ranch and Coventry Homes builds beautiful homes. So if you guys have any questions, make sure to reach out to me. I can absolutely help you answer them. Um, not only about Stillwater Ranch and Coventry Homes, but about anything San Antonio real estate or just San Antonio in general. Um, just give me a call, text or email. I'll respond to you days, nights and weekends. I'd love to help you make your property dreams come true. Stay tuned for the next video. And also, if you're curious about hearing about the living cost in San Antonio, Texas, check out my video that I just made on that. Um, but while you go watch that video, I'm gonna be working on the next for you guys. We'll see y'all.